Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean. I'm here with another awesome tutorial that's going to change your life forever. Maybe not, but it's still kind of cool. I'll be working on the gun hoister for the Red Hood cosplay. Hope you guys dig the video, because I did. So here are the patterns that I made. It looks kind of like a boomerang. I went ahead and cut both sides at the same time. Basically folded the material over and did my cutting. Now I wanted to make it a little plushy. So I decided to use some headliner material which is about quarter inch thick. I drew in a bunch of line which was about two inches apart from each other. And I sewed it all down. This will give it that uh, little effect that I'm aiming for. Now my original cut was a little off and I wanted to extend a little bit more so I went ahead and cut this little piece and I sewed it on there. I'm using my industrial sew machine. I know not very many people will have one in their backyard but I happen to have about six of these. So I'm using a special attachment that allows me to sew on these trimming. I don't even know what they're called. I think they're called base, bias, who cares. It's not perfect, but it's just cosplay. Now, as for this part right here, I should have did this where it was a little more discreet, but then again, oh well. So far, so groovy, and everything is starting to look like it's coming to place. Now, I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put my gun holsters, and I'm going to mock it up with this poster board paper. This is what I think it's going to look like, and I want my gun to be this way, so I can pull it out and shoot people. So I'm going to take this template that I just drew out and transfer it to some craft foam. I made one just slightly bigger and I made one exactly the same size. With the slightly bigger one, I put it in my toaster oven at hot. And be careful because it gets really hot. You have to wear some safety mitts, but I don't have any. So I'm going to use these cheap dollar store mittens. They work just as fine. So with my safety mitts on, I went and pressed in all the details and the curvatures and the crevices, whatever. Now it's starting to look like a nice set of gun holders. I'm drawing out the areas that I'm going to cut and then I'm going to take a pair of scissors and then cut out all the excess material. And once I'm done with that, I'm going to apply some contact cement and then glue it down to the base. But after all this work, I'm not happy with it. So I decided to go a different route because I was having a hard time pulling the gun out. So I did it over using a small strip, popped it in the oven, and I'm using a thick piece of foam. I'm gonna press it down and hold it in there for at least 20 seconds. Now after 20 seconds has gone by, you can tell that the foam has taken its shape once it's cooled down. This will make it to where I can insert and pull the gun out a whole lot easier. With the last gun hoister, the guns were getting stuck, but this one works better. Keep in mind when you're making two gun hoisters, you want each piece to mirror each other. You don't want them identical. Then you're gonna have one gun going backwards and that would be embarrassing. When gluing the pieces together, I'm using the larger piece of the gun, which is the barrel. I want to make sure that the barrel can go in and out easily. Because I don't want it to get jammed or stuck in there. When you got a bunch of bad guys coming at you and then your gun stuck in your holster, you'll be like, man. Now that I got it all together and looking the way I want it to look, it's time to attach this bad boy to the rest of the shoulder strap. I apply some contact cement to the areas that I'm going to put some velcro which has some adhesive back end and it's going to attach to the front, the back and some way to the bottom. I needed a way to connect the two front pieces together and this doggy collar was a good idea. I had to cut off the tag, end up cutting off the ring instead but oh well, didn't really need it. I measured the length of the chest, which fortunately matches my chest. Too bad I don't have the body of a mannequin, but oh well, it's just cosplay, bro. So I went ahead and sewed that doggy collar to the rest of the shoulder strap, and then I got some Velcros on there. And this is how the gun holder is going to attach to the rest of the strap, which is with the Velcro. But you already figured that part out, though. Now the cool part with this is that it's adjustable, probably not ideal for real guns but if you want to, to go the extra distance you can probably put some better straps on there but yeah 
This elastic strap actually goes down underneath my belt and I can button it together. But uh, let me show you how to put these buttons on there. Which is a kit that I got from Walmart. Comes with this little nifty tool. It's like 20 bucks. You get a bunch of buttons. You just stab the back half in and then you pick your male or your female button part. And then you use that nifty little tool and you just clamp it in place and there you have it. Now when you do the other side you want to make sure it complements this button which is like you know male and female I'm not gonna go in and explain the birds and the bees but yeah that's how it works now it's time to put this bad boy on it was pretty complicated at first but once I figured it out it wasn't so hard Just had to unstrap one of the gun holders and then button this thing up, up front and then put all my belt strapping in place and put my guns on there and Let's go fight some crime with some toy guns. Not really. So I picked up these guns from the dollar store. It was only a dollar. Go figure. But it looked really cool. I just added some black paint and I dry brushed some chrome all over it. Now I may give it a makeover before this whole cosplay is done. But yeah, good enough for me. It's easier than making them, really. Well, so far, this is where I'm at with my Red Hood cosplay. Hope you dig it because I'm so digging it. I am so digging it. Alright, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys learned something like you do with all my other videos. I hope you guys learned something. Um, yeah, and you're probably wondering why I painted the emblem black. It's because I'm still gonna go back over there and paint it red. Right now, it's just got plastic dip on there. I'm about to give it some carbon fiber treatment which I like so much and I'm not in focus let's do this again there we go if you guys like the video make sure you hit that like button and maybe I'll come up with more awesome cool tutorials don't forget to like me on Facebook follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already subscribed because I got a bunch of awesome stuff coming your way I'll see you guys in the next video